Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back to another video on rational functions. This time we're going to graph them with holes. What is a hole? Um, a hole is actually a spot on a graph where one individual point doesn't work. Okay? One individual point doesn't work, but it's continuous everywhere else, except for that one point. So, how do we find them? How do we graph them? What do we do with them? Well, graphing them is pretty much the exact same thing that we did in the last video. You still have to figure out what makes a denominator zero for your vertical asymptote. You still need to determine if there's more x's in the numerator or denominator if there's the same in both. You still need to type the function into your graphing calculator to sketch it out. So everything that we did in the last video is how you graph this. There's only one new addition, and you have to place the hole. So to start, we're going to simplify this function. Now I want you to remember, the reason there is a hole is because we're going to graph this original function, not the simplified one. So if we were to factor the denominator here, we would have x plus 4 over x plus 4 x minus 4. And our x plus 4s would cancel. So our simplified equation is actually 1 over x minus 4 after we canceled the x plus 4s. Okay? So this is the graph in its simplified form. But what you have to remember is we are going to start with the original equation. This is what we're actually going to graph. So here's why you have a hole, and this is how you find it. It's what cancels. So if we go with the simplified equation, this is where we find our asymptotes from. So our vertical asymptote is what makes the denominator 0. So x minus 4 is still equal to 0, so our vertical asymptote is x is equal to 4 which means our do domain is all real numbers except x is not allowed to equal 4. And we're going to go graph that. So we're going to go graph a vertical asymptote at x equals 4. Next thing, we have more x's in the denominator. In both, we have x over x squared and we have 1 over x. Either way, it's 1 over 1. 1 over 1. So our horizontal asymptote is y equals 0. So y cannot equal 0. More x's in the denominator. That means y is equal to 0. Now what do we do about our hole? So this is what happens. Every number works except for 4 in the simplified equation, but negative 4 doesn't work in the original. Because if you have the original, you have a negative 4 in here. So that's going to give you negative 4 plus 4, 0 over negative 4 plus 4, 0. And you can never have a 0 in the denominator. So therefore, that creates a hole. This is how you find it. To find the hole, you set what cancels equal to 0, and you solve. So x plus 4 is equal to 0, so x is equal to a negative 4. That is the x-coordinate of your hole. And then what you do is you substitute it into the simplified equation. So that gives you 1 over negative 4 minus 4 so your y-coordinate is 1 over negative 8, so that would just be negative 1 8. And that is your y-coordinate. That's how you find the whole of a graph. And that also goes into the domain, and I'll show you when you graph this in a second. So again, we had our, y, our horizontal asymptote is at y equals 0, and now you have to graph a whole. So at negative 4, negative 1 eighth, what you need to do is create an open circle. 
that is the hole in this graph. So that means, and we'll show you really quick, after you type it in your graphing calculator, remember, I'm never going to make you graph these by hand. So all you need to do is go type this in the graphing calculator and give me a nice little sketch. Go find yourself some nice pretty points that work out well. And just put those on to help you guide the graph. But that's it. So now if you look, x is also not allowed to equal 4 or a negative 4. And y is not allowed to equal 0 or a negative 1 eighth because there is a gap in the graph where that point does not exist. Okay, so again, if we were to just graph this, we wouldn't have a hole. But we are graphing the original function, and negative 4 would not be allowed to work. So therefore, you have to create a hole in that graph. Okay, we're going to do one more together, and then I'll let you give it a shot. Okay. First thing you got to do is simplify the equation. So the first thing we do is factor. This becomes 2x times x plus 4 over, we have an x plus 4 and an x plus 2. And the x plus 4s cancel, leaving us with 2x over x plus 2. So we'll start with the easy part. Our vertical asymptote is still x equals negative 2. So our domain is all real numbers except x is not allowed to equal a negative 2. And we will go sketch that on our graph. There are the same number of x's in the numerator and denominator. We have an x to the first power on top, x to the first power on the bottom. So they're both linear. So we have our horizontal asymptote is y is equal to 2 because it's the ratio. We have 2x over 1x. So that simplifies to 2 over 1. So all real numbers except y is not allowed to equal 2. And we go sketch that. Now, our whole. What canceled was an x plus 4. We set that equal to 0, so x is equal to a negative 4. That is the x-coordinate of our whole. Now we substitute that into our simplified equation. 2 times a negative 4 over negative 4 plus 2 is equal to a negative 8 over a negative 2, which means the y-coordinate is a positive 4. So we're going to go to negative 4, positive 4, and we're going to place a hole. That's where it is not allowed to have a value because that's what would cancel if we graph the original equation. So that means x is also not allowed to equal negative 4, and y is not allowed to equal a positive 4. And then to graph it, go type it in your graphing calculator and just give me a nice sketch. Just find some pretty points and give me a sketch. And there you have it. Okay? So again, the vertical and horizontal asymptotes have not changed from the last video. How you graph it hasn't changed from any of the videos. You're going to be allowed to use your graphing calculator. The only thing that you have to remember is whatever cancels gets that equal to zero to find the x-coordinate of your whole. Plug that into the simplified equation to get the y-coordinate of your whole. And make sure you stick those as options that are not available in your domain in range. Last one for you. Pause the video, factor it, cancel some stuff, see if you can handle the vertical and horizontal asymptote of this guy. Give it a shot, click play when you're ready. So after you factored, you should have 2 times x plus 3 times x plus 2 in the numerator. 
in your denominator, you should have an x plus 2 and an x minus 2 and an x plus 3 after you use grouping in difference of two squares. We have some x plus 3's cancel and some x plus 2's cancel, leaving you with the simplified equation of 2 over x minus 2. Your vertical asymptote is x equals 2. Your domain is all real numbers except x is not allowed to equal 2. We go plot that guy. Next, we have more x's in the denominator. So that means our horizontal asymptote is y is equal to 0. So all real numbers except for y is not allowed to equal 0. Now here's the cool part. This time we're going to have two holes. We're going to have one at negative 3 from the x plus 3 that canceled. And you're going to have another one at negative 2. And what we're going to do is we're going to substitute both of those into our simplified equation. Once you substitute in the negative 3, you're going to get negative 2 fifths. So at negative 3, negative 2 fifths, you're going to have a hole. You're going to substitute a negative 2 in there. And that's going to give you negative 1 half. And we go put our other hole. Now, how do we know which one is which? Well, I'm not looking for perfection here, people. Just make sure that you show me that there's a hole there. So x is not allowed to equal 2, negative 3, or a negative 2. y is not allowed to equal a negative 2 fifths or a negative 1 half. And then all you have to do is type this into your graphing calculator and go give me a nice little sketch. And one thing I want to let you know is there's always a few common mistakes. And I'll tell you them right now. Number one, your hole must always be on the graph. You never want to show me a hole that's sitting in the middle of nowhere. If you have a hole sitting in the middle of nowhere, there's nothing there anyway, so there's no hole. So don't ever put a hole in the middle of nowhere. That means you calculated it incorrectly. Also, don't ever put a hole on a vertical asymptote or a horizontal asymptote. That point already doesn't exist. Those are some really common mistakes that happen from time to time that you just need to be careful of. Make sure your holes are on the actual graph. Okay? So that's it for this video on graphing rational functions with holes. This is Longo and I'm out. See you bye.